the question or the whole intro? Okay, just the question. Before I bring him to the, oh, did you get, oh yeah. Before I bring him to the podium, take a moment to think about something that would make 2021 a really great year for you. Type it into the chat, you have 20 seconds. Okay. With that, I will now welcome Dr. Paul Newton. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, everyone. It's a real honor to be here today and to have the opportunity of addressing you at this really sacred time. And it really is the doorway into a new reality, a new year. I'm sure we can all agree that 2020 just sort of happened upon us and just threw a whole lot of problems our way. And we've dealt with it in our own ways. And there's just been a lot of weight on us. So a lot of us are expecting, hoping that 2021 will be different. What I'm gonna share with you today is a formula. It's kind of a trifecta that I've observed throughout my professional career. And I've seen people use to really create a reality that gets the things that they want to happen. The way I'm going to share this is through a story of someone that is very near and dear to me. Her name is Julie. And 20 years ago, she showed up in my office. She was a vibrant young kinesiology student and she wanted to be a chiropractor. She also needed some volunteer hours to get her degree. So she spent some time in my office while she was applying to chiropractic college and she got in. She was on her way to creating her dream of being a chiropractor. And everything was going along great. She was completing the four years of training and it was about two weeks before her board exams where she had to write examinations on all four years of intense medical study. And she was maybe two months away from having her chiropractic license. But then she ended up feeling sick and she went to the emergency where she had a seizure. And when she opened her eyes, she saw her whole family and everyone that she loved looking down at her and crying because they had not expected her to open her eyes again. She had a feeding tube and a respirator. She was intubated and she couldn't move from the neck down. Her hope and dream of being a chiropractor was just dashed. She did not know what to do but she applied what I'm going to share today. And she created her own reality. And this story has a happy ending. Now the trifecta for creating your reality is, imagine three circles. The first one up top is your personal theme. The next one, the second circle here is your dominant emotion. And the third circle is your focus. So with your personal theme, your dominant emotion, and your focus, they overlap in the middle to create your reality. And that's the lens that you look through at your life and the reality you're creating. Now imagine Julie waking up in this hospital bed. She cannot move, she can barely speak, and she can't breathe on her own. And the doctors are telling her, forget about being a chiropractor, get used to being immobile. The best you can hope for is that if you get off the respirator, you could live your life out in a wheelchair. Now, Julie thought, this can't be happening. This is not acceptable to me. I'm not going to take this on as my personal reality. And my theme is not going to be that I'm disabled and I cannot do the things I want to do. So she created her own theme of, I do things that I can do and I do things my way. And even though it doesn't look like what other people do, I achieve the outcomes that I want in my life. And that's her personal theme. The way that you create a personal theme is that you identify that element, that energy that you bring to everything you create. Any interaction that you have, what is it that you bring into the interaction, into the relationship? What is the energy that you 
have when you're doing something. That is what your personal theme is built on. So my personal theme for 2021 is that I add value to everything I do and then I increase it. And that's what I'm taking into 2021. What is your personal theme for 2021? I want you to type that into the chat. And I'm just getting you to enter these things into the chat as a personal commitment to yourself for 2021. It's just getting you to show up in a different way. So that's the first thing, your personal theme. Now, Julie wakes up in her hospital bed and she's not accepting the fact that she is disabled. She is focusing on what she can do and how she does it. The next thing that she's looking at is, well, my dream of being a chiropractor was two months away and now it's gone. I can't walk. I can't even eat or feed myself. She could have gotten depressed, gone into the depths of despair, been frustrated and angry and grieving all her losses. But what she chose to focus on was the emotions of hope, hope that she could create something better and perseverance, determination that she would just keep doing and trying and doing until she got what she wanted. And she replaced all the emotions of sadness and anger with these dominant emotions that are drivers, their energy, their power sources that fueled her personal theme of, I do what I can do and I do it my way. My personal emotions that I focus on are acceptance of what is because it keeps me present. And then to be eager and excited about what I can create in the moment. So presence in the moment and accepting what is and eagerness about what I'm creating in the future. What are your dominant emotions that you're going to bring into 2021? Please type them into the chat. So the emotions are the power source and they fuel and they really drive what you're creating. And the last thing that you need to create that trifecta so that you create your reality that you look through is your focus. What is it that you focus on? And there's always things grabbing at your focus, like in social media, advertising, the news, all the terrible things that we think are happening in our world. And we can focus on those and they can bring us down to the dumps, make our dominant emotion something crappy. Julie was forced to deal with the fact that the medical profession was saying she was not going to walk again. The school, the chiropractic college didn't want her back. They made her do all sorts of tests and jump through hoops and repeat her fourth year before they'd even let her write her exams. But did she focus on that? No. Every day she focused on what she did accomplish. She focused on her big toe. And for months, she was just staring at a limp object that was not connected to her until one day after saying move, how many thousands of times it did move. And by focusing on what she could do and every day how she was better than the day before, she kept advancing until she did attain her goal of becoming a chiropractor. And she used that trifecta of her personal theme, her dominant emotion, and her focus to actually end up practicing with me in my office. And now she owns that office. She bought it from me when I left chiropractic practice. And she runs an amazing healing center that helps people overcome huge obstacles. With what Julie did in applying the trifecta of your, dominant, your uh, personal theme, your dominant emotion, and your focus, she created the reality that she wanted. Now you know about it. You need to use it to create your reality. I want you to be the, what's happening to 2021. Madam Chair.